Okay, hey ho, this is Farmer George and we're back now. We're going to be doing um, a little bit more with this vehicle. We're just going to first off turn this wagon round and uh, ready so that this, uh, this vehicle can tip into it properly. We're going to have to... I should have remembered that that was uh, vehicle 6. Oh no, we're locked up again. At least we can have a look at the uh, the tyres <laughs> and all the muck on this wagon. I haven't washed it for ages, of course. And um, let's just escape into one of the vehicles. Oh, we need to send him back. He's empty. Take his handbrake off. He's driving forwards. Set cruise control. Wait till he gets past this P. Make sure it's set on nearest weight point, and then we're going to do left control and seven. Hopefully, and as soon as he starts steering, that's it. He's doing that on his own, so I know he's bringing that back to um, the farm. We don't want that one. We want this one. We're just going to put him on. the uh, mucking out so he is in he is number four and uh, let's just risk it we'll jump in to the other vehicle and see if we can turn this vehicle around fast enough get it hooked up oops Wish the cow would get out of the way. And I think the the position I had it was line it up with the corner of that the edge of that wall so that it runs flush. nearly <coughs> got a little bit of lag going on <coughs> hopefully that's not going to affect and break the video I think it might do He's stuck anyway, so I don't have to rush anymore. Jump inside. Then we'd also use this tractor for all the little little jobs, like just moving this, moving stuff around in yards and things, and and occasionally using it on a larger vehicle, a larger a larger wagon. This wagon is too heavy, really. Um, for him to generally manhandle it around and I was talking earlier with someone about getting the uh, PTO shaft connected when you when you're connecting up these vehicles that yellow shaft is the power transfer or power takeoff and basically you run an engine in the tractor without the gears in the wheels being well you, you, you sometimes use it with the in conjunction with the wheels because you're moving along and you're spreading muck but the PTO shaft drives the spinny things inside the back of the truck that flings all them the cow poop out the back so now we'll jump from number six into number two I think it was no it wasn't it was number three no it wasn't <laughs> number four yes number four so we'll turn the, the course off 
and then we will back this up. We want him to start at the first point actually. But it doesn't matter, he will only start at the first point because of the way that this is is done. Oh, I see what's going on because the start point's behind me, look. And there we go. Now he should fill. Um, it's running on autopilot, of course, so we can jump out. And this is uh, similar to the bio plant, where he's now got a full of shovel load of sheet, shovel load of crap. And we use that little green tractor as well for putting the water in. Did I mention that? <coughs> putting the water in the water trough another one so if this is successful and it's in the right position if not it'll all go on the floor and it's being wasted I'm sure this was the position just about and this vehicle is nearly full of course so we'll jump back in and we'll disconnect the wagon and meanwhile we will go and get the water while he's busy doing that <coughs> so this is how we look after the cows we also need <coughs> to get the um, the liquid poop out which we've been doing if in a previous video if you haven't seen that go back and watch it remember to like as well and subscribe uh, another thing I've done here <coughs> is I uh, put the sheep's wool bales in the wrong place they shouldn't usually put them in front of the gate although you can't actually use that gate <coughs> right where's my water butt in the shed usually and I usually leave it f filled as well there is a point on this farm somewhere where you can actually fill the water butt for free at one of the little fill points but all the rest of the places cost you money and I don't know where it is I've forgotten where it is so the first thing I'll just fill is the sheep's water I also have to take it but I'll wait until I'm ready to go down to that yard. We have to take it and fill the um, cattle and the pigs water. We've only got one of these water butts. It's handy to have two but then again that negates all the need for the stress you have of having to take things backwards and forwards. So once we get in line with this we've got it selected we can empty this into this trough. You can see it going down 40, 30, crikey, it's using quite a lot of water. We'll go and put the rest of the water in the. Got that wrong. And again, you can't run over the sheep. And I've got another course on this blue. on this blue uh, wagon that's doing the the poop there I've got another course that help, helps him empty it into the uh, actually into the manure box but this doesn't fill like in a lot of farms you'll get the <coughs> the manure pile fills up doesn't it it doesn't in this in this map you've got to physically take it out of the cow shed Right, there's 3,000 litres going into this. That'll do for a top-up anyway. At least the cows won't go thirsty. I think that'll take all of this. But I wish I could find, remember where the um, the water filler is. 
there is one back at the normal part, normal farm. For instance, if I went to, um, it's still set on Cobra to Chantry, so I could actually just quickly take this back and refill it, which is what I will do. And here's that other vehicle just arriving from the milk. So we'll go manually past him. We'll change back to the closest waypoint. We need to zoom out a little bit so we can see the course. We'll just risk it for a biscuit and go see if it will drive forwards on that course. Nope, wants to turn round. I wish I'd have uh, straightened these courses out a little bit better. Um, so there's a loop we can catch just there. And that's off it goes. That'll go back to Chantry and we can fill it up there. Um, this one here, <coughs> this vehicle here, we need to move the blue tractor back a little bit further so we can get in with this vehicle. Now we can turn this guy off. He's only got 10,000 litres of milk to pick up, as far as I remember. Well, it's now 11,000. The bottom, the very bottom setting. Oops, boop, 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 boop. On this milk tank. So it won't even touch the sides, really. We have to get this milk tank just in by this wall because we need enough room to get in down the side of the feeding t the feeding tank, which still isn't green by the way. So um, we will just fill this and see how much it takes. Ten thousand. Uh, we'll go and have a look at the other vehicle we need to move back. This guy is still picking poop up, hopefully. Or is he stopping now? I think he's finished work now. It'll come up with a little green bar at the bot side, left hand side of the screen. Yep, he's now finished work. So that's good. Um, we will also, while well, we've still got this spade on, um, we'll turn this course off while well, we've still got the bucket. We'll just put one more load in of this gunk and then we'll go and get the, fit, the fork on and put some grass in. Then the, the cows will be getting fed mixed rations. As you can see their production currently is up 110% which is what you want because they've got some mixed ration. But if we run out of mixed ration their um, productivity will go down rapidly. And then we need to get the little green tractor back and get him to use the blower. And with the bale forks on, we're going to put some grass in this um, feeder first. And then... Um, obviously continue on with the water and go and do the, the cattle in the same fashion. We could do with some fuel in this vehicle as well. We don't want to run out. We've still got 40 litres. So... But I don't always think about it. And the last thing you want to be doing is messing about after you've run out of fuel when you didn't need to when I've been past the fuel point a dozen times. 
There's one there just on the wall, look. But will I use it? Now, the, do the, ha the door of the, the farm yard, farmhouse is there, so what I'd basically do is try not to abuse the, the, d the farmer by, or the guy who lives there. It doesn't have to be the farmer. by putting the bucket in front um, right the white rolls contain silage the green rolls are just the grass and they're the only well the only ones I've got at the moment normally I would use these up and use the uh, the, the, big, the bigger bills but uh, my biller was across the other side of the field working on a field, so I made some. That'll do. We've got it, I think. No, we haven't. And these are quite more awkward to pick up because you can't always stab them, especially when they get old. When they've been stood for a while, they seem to be. I don't know, there can't be an age thing to them, it just seems that they are, each one of these are objects as well and because they are smaller you have to have more objects in the game. They give you, um, well it, it's not telling you how much is in them, I think there's about 800 in the bale, 800 or whatever it is, 800 litre capacity I think, something like that. Uh, there is a thing you can do if you stand by them, you can see what's in them. And some of them have different amounts in because it depends on how well you've packed them, depending on which barely you've used. So grass. Now we're watching for the re the green light to come on, which it has done. So we've got the green light. So we need a couple more grass in there. And I think that's about enough time now for the um, the gravy vehicle, the, the green vehicle, the Fent tractor. To have actually come in and uh, what they call it. Now there's another thing you can't do is you can't pierce these this way around. So the more awkward and what you have to do with them is go up like this and my computer is quite funny in the fact that if you press three keys, so you're driving forwards and pressing the bill up and down keys for the forks at the same time, three keys pressed at once, it seems to want to do something else, like it's some sort of a... Um, wants to do a... I'm going to flip it off, that's it, right? get it low so that we don't tip the tractor up and we need to shut that gate as well not that I've ever seen any cows ever come out of there but it would be nice if you let them out they'll come into the farmyard and you'd maybe need to do that if you was taking some, some to sale or anything like that but basically we've got uh, two more builds we could do within this uh, in this uh, thing here. Uh, plop, make it vanish. Yeah. And we've got enough in there now because it's green. You can see there's actually more grass in there, but I'll just show you inside the uh, filler if I can jump upon this vehicle. It's hard to get up onto this. Right. So now you can see in the back, this is what the mixing things look like. So as you fill stuff, it gets put into their mixer at the back and then it gets mixed. And then because it's connected to all this stuff, where the milk tanks are and the milking unit, there's all the poo cows. And uh, the milking station, they're, they're enticed to come into the milking station on their own without any uh, cajoling. Uh, from you because they 
um, have got pellets in the food, the mixed ration, and it um, entices them to come in. It's quite ingenious. It's biotechnology, really. So that's why the water guy hasn't arrived. I was waiting for, oh, it says Fendit Farmer 310 LSA number two is slipping. Yeah, because he's crashed into the back of a, <laughs> of a doings vehicle. So this has got to go into this yard to pick up these um, bales that I put down and we've got to make sure we don't get stuck either so we'll just see if we can pick up a couple of bales and uh, this is the point where we can sometimes end up with our tractor getting um, climbing up on top of the bales which we don't want which is why I like the front bumper attachment which does the bales we might actually be able to get all of these bills without much ado. If I can just push forward and pick up these other three bills, and there's the other one in the, the hedge, then we might be able to just reverse in with the other trailer and snap up the, the last of these bills. We left them here, if you remember, because we needed to unload the trailer we had nowhere else the, the, the farm is quite small and tight so there well we've got all them bales on there we can close that one off and we want to be sending this one to Yatton so we're going to end this video here and we'll come back with the water and fill the water barrel okay and send him off to Yatton at the same time so we'll end that there and I'll see you in the next video